What happened? I got injured at work. At work. Yeah? I got injured at work. You got injured at work. Is free. Right, look at it. Can walk. So, you were failing to walk. Were you failing to work? It was hard. So, hold him. He's still in spirit. You Thank can you. see the, the cement there. Thank you, Jesus. He said he was failing to work. Oh. That's why he's using two crunches. You can see, he can walk now. Oh, and thank you, Jesus. If you can see this cement, it's like this. Can you see that? It's like that. The, the leg is moving. Was it not moving? Brother, your leg was not moving. It was not moving at all, Pastor. Huh? It was hard to move the leg. It was hard to move. Now you are able to move. So what actually happened? Pastor, I just fell at work. I don't know what happened. Okay, just walk. <laughs> There's no need to wait. They say you must come when? For the On the 20th of this month. 20? Yes. So it's a long time. You can hear that. You were supposed to stay 20. 20th. So to remove this thing, it's a cement. How can we remove this? Ish, I have no idea, but I think if they can just try, it's hard this thing, I don't know. It's tight, yeah? It's tight, yeah. Yeah, it's tight, because you need a machine to cut it out, like this. But you can work now. Yeah, now you can work. So show us how you were working with crunches, because I never say work with crunches. That's how you were working. You're working like this, so you can see. If a person can working like this, can work. You were feeling pain. Yes, I was feeling pain. But now? Now I'm feeling much better. Please, throw them down. The scratches. Walk again. Uh, God is good. You are free. the service the man of God was ministering deliverance and healing amongst the congregation and he came across our brother who was using two crunches and also had a cement on his foot and the man of God prayed for him and he received his healing in the name of Jesus right now we'll be finding out what was happening to him and how he is feeling after the prayer but my brother can you tell us your name and where you come from um, Thomas um, from Alex and today, as the man of God was ministering healing and deliverance amongst the congregation, he came across you. Can you tell us the first thing that the man of, that the man of God did when he came to you? Uh, he just came to me and asked me what's wrong with me and I told him that uh, I had a problem at work. I fell at work. And then he started to pray for me. And then after that, I just feel like I'm healed. 
because there was uh, an anointing upon him. So up to so far, I can say I'm, I don't feel any pain. I'm free. I'm healed. And can you tell us when did you fall at work? Uh, where I was working. Uh, it was on the 6th of, uh, of this month. Yeah. And when you fell, can you tell us what is it that they did at work for you to be, a to be having these crutches and the bandage on your foot? After I fell, what happened is like I had to go to the doctor. And then when I was there, the doctor told me that uh, my leg is broken. So now they had to put me this, they have to put a cement on my leg so that uh, my leg must be, must be okay again. So yeah, that's when, they, that's when you see this, this, the, this is the cement that they put on my leg. And then since on the 6th, uh, I was using the crunches and the cement, so I was not working well. And when they put the cement on you, did they tell you when they are going to take it off on you? They said to me, I have to come back on the 20th of, 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 of October. But now they didn't tell me what, 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 what are they going to do. They just, they just said to me, come and see what will happen after that. They will decide if they have to remove it or just to stay there again. So uh, they just said to me, I must come back on the 20th. So you got injured on the 6th of September and you went to the hospital. They put a bandage on you and they said to return on the 20th of October. Yeah, that's what they said to me, yes. And can you tell us also the reason why they gave you these crunches? Because I was not working properly. I could not work without the crutches, so that is why uh, they gave me the crutches. Because it was hard for me to work without the crutches. I was working very bad. So, but after they gave me the crutches, I was trying to work, even though I was not feeling okay. But there were, I had no option. I had to use the, uh, the, the crutches. With the report of what the doctor said to you, when you came here today, what expectations were you having that God was going to do for you today? Uh, the, the doctor told me that uh, I have to wait for like, like, like six weeks. But you know what, because I'm a member of Charis, I know that if I just come here, if I can just enter through that door, then I'll be healed. So that is why I came here with the, with the with, I mean, uh, telling myself that um, as long as I'm here, then I'm going to be healed. So that is why today I received my, my, my healing. Because I told myself that, no, I, I'm not going to back there. I'm not going to go back to the hospital again. I cannot wait for the train there. So I have to come here and use my face so that I have to be healed. So that's why I'm here today and I receive my healing because I told myself that today I'm going to be healed. I told myself that today is going to be my, my, my healing day. So that is why you see me here now. I'm healed. And then when the man of God approached you, how were you feeling? You know, I just tell myself that, you know, this is the time that I was waiting for. Because I know to the man of God, one touch is enough. So that is why I told myself that you know, as long as you can just come to me and touch me then, it is done. And when the man of God was praying for you, your toes, they started vibrating. What was happening to your leg? You know, honestly, I don't know, but I just think that something is happening. There was, I think there was something, because I just thought there was like some, I don't know, what, some electricity in my legs. I don't understand what's going on in my legs. There was something, I, don't, I can't even tell you, but I just think that something is happening. And after the man of God prayed for you, and then he took off the crunches that you were using, he told you to walk immediately. Did you believe at that moment that indeed I am going to walk without the use of these two crutches that you're having here? Yes, I did believe. That is why you see me here healing, healed. Yeah, I believe that, you know, if the man of God says something, then it's, it's done. Yeah, so that is why I'm, I'm free and I'm healed. Because like after he prayed for me, I feel like I can, you know, I can walk, I mean, I can run. You see, as you saw me, I was running. You know, I was jumping yeah, because I was like happy, you know. And for those who did not see how you got prayed for, can you demonstrate to us how you were using these crunches before the man of God could pray for you? Okay, I was walking like this. I was using the right hand leg, so I was, yeah, the way you see I was, I was working like this, yes.
viewers all over the world as you are witnessing this man who was prayed for by the man of God before he received his healing. This is how he was walking when the man of God came to pray for him and then he also received his healing in the name of Jesus. As you can see also this is the cement that was put on his leg and then it got cut off to show that this healing indeed it is permanent in the name of Jesus. Jesus is our great physician and I believe that his healing is, is permanent in the name of Jesus. As you can see now that our brother can use his foot without the use of crutch. Can you demonstrate to us now that you're prayed for how you're walking without these crutches? Hallelujah. We give glory to Jesus. Indeed, our brother is healed in the name of Jesus. As you are seeing him running and walking, this is to show that miracles do exist. Jesus is still the healer. And we believe that this healing indeed, it is permanent in Jesus' name. My brother, you are now free. You are now healed. What is it that you would like to say to encourage others that are watching right now? Oh, what I can say to all the viewers, you know what? Come to Charis Missionary Church if you want to see miracles. This is a place of miracle. So whatever you're looking for, I think it's here in Charis Missionary Church. There is nothing that is too hard for God in Charis Missionary Church. Everything is possible. What you have to do, you must just do a favor and believe. That's all. And now, since you are healed, what is it that you would like to do with the things that you were using, the crunches and also the bandages that was put on you since your leg was broken. What is it that you would like to do with these things? Now I'm going to throw them away. I don't, I don't need them anymore because I'm free and I can walk by myself. So I don't need anything. Yeah. Hallelujah. We give glory to Jesus. Our brother is healed. He is free. He is delivered. He no longer wants to use these things anymore because God has set him free in the name of Jesus. We thank God and give glory to God for his healing in Jesus' name. Amen.